Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at this uh, banner unit, uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, um, and I want to see how good he is. Now, I've already seen some, um, I guess, some controversy with this guy, where like some people are saying this guy's a little bit overhyped, a little bit overrated. I don't know, we'll see. On paper, to me, he reminds me of like a Raccoon Goldo or like an Android 8 type unit, and if that's really what he is, I'd say he's an excellent banner unit, and I would say that his hype is justified, but I want to see how he looks for me personally in this video so we're going to look at a 69 percent copy of this vegeta and see how well he's operating and we're really looking at this guy defensively i think that's his value as he's a defensive unit right uh his leader skill is just a 130 exploding rage not anything you'll use uh super attack effect raises attack for one turn does supreme damage so yeah not getting a defense raise i think kind of hurts him but um we'll see key plus three in attack and defense 200 at the start of turn guards all attacks for five turns from the start of turn Plus an additional attack and defense 40% with each attack received up to 200. So this Vegeta needs to get five times. So your goal is to get this guy hit five times before his guard runs out. Um, all allies attack and defense 30 and all enemies attack minus 20 for two turns after the character receives an attack three or more times in battle once only. So the big thing I don't like about this like, when I first saw that he had a support passive, I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome. And it's two turns, which is really good, but it's once only. So you only get it once, and then it's gone. So I, I wish he was just a permanent support unit. That would have really put him over the top for me. But he does get it burst for one time um, after he gets hit three times. But typically, it's like, you could get hit three, three times turn one, and you might have a support really early in a red zone when you don't really need it. And you might want it later in the red zone when you don't have it, right? So um, then he's got a transformation. So basically after five turns, as long as he has been hit six or more times, you can transform into the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, his passive is attack and defense 100. He has a high chance of critting and launches an additional has a high chance of becoming a super for three turns. Then he gets key three and attack and defense 200 plus an additional attack and defense 100 when performing a super. Guards all attacks permanently plus an additional attack and defense 50 and launches an additional that has a high chance of becoming a super when performing a super and chance of performing a crit plus 20% if there's a movie boss's enemy. So what I like about the way they built this guy is yes, he has a five turn guard untransformed, but by the time that runs out, you hopefully can transform into this guy and keep the guard. So unlike God Goku, this is a unit I would always want to transform. You just make sure you get your six hits in, his passives will be fully built up, Go ahead and transform, and then you have guaranteed guard. So this unit, essentially, I'm going to think of this Vegeta is just always having guaranteed guard. Because once again, unless the fight's going really wonky for you, that you're not getting attacked enough, he should get his six in, hits in within those first five turns, you would think, right? So we'll see. So 166k defense turn one, that's actually not good. Um, but he has the guard, and he's got a ton of buildup. So I think this guy could get slammed turn one. But let's let him start getting hit, and let's see what his defense starts to look like once again, keeping that guard. Okay, and then sure, we'll get the six orbs with God Goku on the end. We are running him on the God Goku team, which is a 200% team for him. So getting supered right away. So we did get a uh, hit there. So 2.5, pretty weak attack stat. I expect this guy to be pretty weak early on, but I want to see him after his six hits, right? That's what I want to see. Um, we are linking him with Super Vegeta, who's a little bit dated at this point, but they do share a lot of links together. So I figured let's run them together, see what they can do here. Okay, and here comes God Goku. He should super twice. Because I think we got the six orbs. I'm pretty sure we did. All right, so we only needed one. Okay, so let's keep going. So I think we've been hit twice. So we need to get hit, what, three more times for the pulp? Full passive and four more times to get the transformation. All right. So we'll leave God Goku on rotation. We are trying out the Bardocks here. Dude, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock linking pretty well here with these guys. Uh, sharing some links with both of them. Not bad. <clears throat> Never really thought of like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock as a linking partner for God Goku, but he does link pretty well. What is that? Four links? Yeah, four links is not bad. Uh, so sure, let's do that. And he's giving attack support. And this guy, Goku, gets attack on super. Like, this guy, Goku, here is going to put up a decent turn one stat. Yeah, 8 mil. Um, and that's without his 50% passive for getting four supers off. So you get this guy some attack support. He can hit pretty hard early on for sure. 
Yeah, he is putting up some good numbers here if you actually attack support him. You know, I did my showcase with him, and, like, I think he's really good. I like him. I was just, I don't know, kind of a little underwhelmed for how much he's been talked up. So not saying that he's, like, bad. He's fantastic. He's ridiculous. I just feel like people were, like, kind of getting a little overexcited about this guy without, like, really using him. Um, I think the hype is justified if we have longer content to get him to stack more, but we just don't have that. So I don't really feel like we can really see the best of this guy right now. Um, all right, so now, after just getting hit a couple times, we're at 329k defense with guard already with this Tech Vegeta, right? That's pretty good, and he's still got more buildup to come here. So I'm kind of liking this Vegeta. Let me just see here. Let's see. Let's get hit a couple times. Hopefully not getting our defense lowered. Yeah, now he's up to 5 mil. So once again, I think of a unit like Aider, right? Who Aider is super defensive, but like on rotation, like he can hit 5 mil and that's acceptable for a defensive unit. Now, unfortunately, we got defense lowered there. I didn't want that. So next turn, our defense is going to be lower than what it should be, but we'll live with it <clears throat> and see what happens. So just knowing that his defense was lower, that his defense is going to be, you know, should be higher than what we see next turn. Um, I actually kind of want Vegeta to live here. Yeah, that'll be good. Then we can finish him off this turn get a fresh Vegeta. All right, so we're just going to keep this double physical Goku rotation here. Uh, the orb changing good when we got two of them going, for sure. Uh, both of them can get six orbs. That's fine. Um, and then Bardock can sit here and do his thing. Okay. All right, so these Gokus are both going to double super. So for sure, Vegeta's not surviving. Even though we're type disadvantage here, there's just too much damage coming through. And once again, they could triple super, right? Okay, so there's one. Here's two. <laughs> once again, this guy Goku, I get why there's hype. Because he does like... His kit has like everything, right? Guaranteed additional supers. He's got guard. He's got dodge. Um, he's got stacking defense. Like he's got all the things you want. I don't know why. He just didn't like blow me away or anything when I ran him. Um... I, I think just for the hype that he has. He's insanely good, though. I think we just need longer content for him. Okay. All right, so this turn here. Vegeta can already transform, so I probably should do that. Does the transform, like, negate his defense down? I don't know if it does. Um, I'm going to try to put my audio on for this. How dare you! All right, nice. Uh, we could do STR Super Vegeta too, but we won't here. All right, so, oh God, his defense is so lowered. Yeah, 146K defense, just incredibly lowered there. Um, but we had him fully built up from getting hit. Um, yes. And he gets, so here's the thing with this guy. His start of defense doesn't look as impressive, but this guy gets 100% defense on Super. Um, and he still doesn't get defense on Super Tech Effect, but remember... Whatever his defense is, you can basically double it. So he's like about 300k defense. But remember, we're defense lowered, right? So let's just give this guy a shot here. Um, let's do this. We'll do this. Um, hopefully we don't get supered here again, but we are guarding, right? So this is a good example. We're type disadvantage, but we're guarding. And then, yeah, 5.5 mil. Like, and this is 69%, right? So I don't, uh, I don't know why people wouldn't think he's good. We're getting a 6 mil additional here. I mean, yes, his defense could be higher, but once again, he got 100% on super, and then we got a couple of attack stacks there. Okay, I, I don't think this Vegeta lowers. Let's see. Okay, yep, he did not lower defense. All right, so I want to see. Let's see Vegeta next turn without the lower defense and see what he's looking like, right? Let's get to the next turn. I think this Vegeta is really good. He's not going to tank as well as Aider because Aider's just got a ton of damage reduction. Um, but this guy's going to be guarding with, I think, good enough defense to tank most things in the game, right? So I think if you think about this Vegeta in like that Aider role, and obviously his uh, support passive happened, I think, on the last turn, but that's already passed, right? That's the one thing. I wish his support was permanent. Okay. Um, actually, I will transform one of these God Gokus. <laughs> this will finish off the Vegeta, by the way. I probably should have turned on audio for this. It's weird. I like just did his showcase and for some reason his animations didn't trigger and now they're triggering right after that. Weird. 
Very nice animation, by the way. But this way, my god Goku will link. And then this will for sure, yeah, finish with the crit there. That's fine. Kind of have another look at the god Gokus in this showcase here. I might look at his defense next turn. All right, so right here. All right, this is much better. Okay, this is what Vegeta really looks like here. Um, and keep in mind, this is without defense support. So we're at 222k starter turn defense. So in slot two, this guy's going to have like 450k defense with guard. To me, that's very solid, like very good, right? Um, so what I could do is, sure, we could put like this. I mean, we still take a lot of damage. We'll just do this. Okay. And we'll do that. All right, let's see what the damage is looking like here. We're getting good attack support. <clears throat> yeah, 5.6. So this guy's hitting like 5 to 6 mil. Yeah, if he gets an additional 6 mil, and this is 69%, right? Um, So I do really like this Vegeta. I think his hype is justified. I'm kind of feeling the opposite where like, I'm actually like pretty high on this Vegeta as a banner unit. I really like him. Let's see what he takes here. I mean, should be nothing, right? Yeah, double digits. Not that this is like a crazy red zone boss, but... I feel like this Vegeta in slot two, like definitely in slot one right now, even with guarding, he definitely will take damage, like good damage. <clears throat> but I think it's a slot two unit. So the thing with this Vegeta, you just need to have a slot one unit you want to run him with that he links well enough. And he's on a ton of teams, right? So the way I think of this Vegeta, basically think of it as like an aider that's a little bit more easy to use because he's not tied to Kid Goku. You can run and he's going to link well with just other Super Saiyans in general. And you can run him on a, on a ton of these teams. So I think this Vegeta does have a lot of value. I do really like him. Um, sure, we'll do God Goku in slot one because I want him to double super and stack defense for me. Yeah, 350k defense with guard. I mean, this this guy Goku's looking good now that we're stacking him a little bit. I think the reason I'm just down on him is I just would, I'm just i just a little underwhelmed with like his first maybe two to three turns. Like I want him... He just needs to be a little bit better early on. He can look good early on if you give him attack support, I think. But I do like that he has the dodge to back up. Like, right? Like, he, if he's low defense, he hasn't stacked it. He does have dodge to back it. So, he's super good. And I said this before. He's, like, he's on the highest tier of tier TUR, for sure. He's, like, tippity top tier. I just don't know if I'm going to declare him best TUR in the game. I, I, I kind of like Gammas still more, to be honest. I know I'll probably get a lot of flack in the comments, but um, I'm not saying he's bad by any means. He's ridiculously good. But I'm actually pretty high in this Vegeta. I'm liking the way this Vegeta's feeling to me here. All right, so this turn here, um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I think STR Super Vegeta is going to get killed for sure. But on the off chance we get supered, I got to see this guy like eat a final flash. So I'm hoping we can see a final flash come through here. Um, Super Vegeta, even on, well, I think normals could be fine, but if he gets final flash for one shot for sure. Um, all right. So 180 K defense, we dipped a little bit there. Um, we are still getting defense support though. Um, let's see what's, what he's looking like here. He's still in like that 400 K defense range. All right. So we're eating a final flash before we super. So this is his weakness here. He's still going to take damage here. Yeah, 183k. Now he gets all of his defense. So that was the unfortunate part. I'm not seeing this Vegeta's like a god. He's definitely not best banner unit in the game for sure. Like there's other banner units I like. Like I would still probably put Aider above him. Um, units like that for sure. Um, but I really like him. I think he's a very, very good banner unit. And it's kind of a nice change of pace um, for like one of these banner unit Vegeta's. Because I feel like... A lot of times when they do like banner unit Super Saiyan Vegeta's, they're just like generic damage units. And those type of banner units just never work. Because um, if this guy was just a generic damage unit and all he did was his five or six mil attack stats, he wouldn't be good enough. Like you wouldn't run him, right? Like that's what God Vegeta does, who easy ate a while ago and we just don't use him. But this guy, because he's got the guard, the defense utility, it makes him usable. Um, Actually, I guess if you think about it, um, I guess one way you can think about it uh, we're not going to get guard here, so we got to put this guy up because I think he's got the guard. Um, or no, does he guard? I don't remember. Oh, don't got it. We took a lot of damage last turn. All right, we might just die here, but we'll play it out in case I get another turn. Um, I guess the way I'd think about this banner unit Vegeta, 
he's kind of like the EZA we wanted for God Vegeta because I think he's putting up like similar numbers. It's just God Vegeta doesn't guarantee guard. So it's it's kind of like that. He's kind of like that God Vegeta, but guarantee guards. And I think if that God Vegeta did guarantee guard, like people would run him a lot more. Um, so yeah, I think this Vegeta is good. I like him. I think he's a good banner unit. Um, I definitely think there are, you could see holes in like maybe both of these units as in, as in like there's definitely things that could have been a little bit better about them. I think like the banner unit Vegeta just giving him defense on super would be really huge. Um, I think God Goku, like really his hole isn't right, like around his kit. I think his kit is built very well. Um, I think needing the six orbs for guard can hinder him a bit. Uh, but the big thing him, it's more actually the game around him that is the issue. Like we don't have long enough content to have him really be his best. Um, I think that's the issue I'm having with the guy Goku, but he's fantastic. He's top tier, right? He's, he's for sure. Like in terms of TURs, like he's probably top three, like he's probably like in my mind, maybe the third or fourth best TUR in the game. I, I just, I'm not going to declare him number one, like some people are doing right. So anyways, let me know what you think of this tech Vegeta in this God Goku. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.